Well, hello there, folks. Welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Yes, still in the shed, still in the lockdown, still on the whiskey. In fact, I actually took a couple of weeks off. I haven't done anything for a couple of weeks. I've kind of left whiskey alone for a bit because I felt that the lockdown was... I was probably drinking too much of it. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but I gave it a little wee bit of a break. Took some time off, spent, caught up with some TV... Just pondered around the house for a bit, so nothing much, but glad to say that I'm back again now. Uh, and I'm going to review this one for you today. Been looking forward to this. I had this delivered during lockdown, which is the Glen Goyne Teapot Dram Batch 7. I've had a couple of bottles delivered, so I'm going to share this one with you today. Uh, looking after my dram today is my trusty coin. Got a special one on this today, coin. it's coin number one. It's my special coin, looking after the special whiskey for me. So that'll take care of that. I poured this about half an hour ago, so it's had lots of time to open up. So I'm not going to go into any history, guys, about uh, the teapot dram. I think it's a pretty well-known phenomenon now. Unless you're a newbie, uh, you may want to check out Batch 6 review that I did last year. I'll probably pop a link to that above. I think I'll get into a wee bit more deal about uh, more detail about the teapot drum history. Uh, I just want to taste this, share it, score it, uh, and get out of here and get on to the next one. Uh, just before I crack on with the nose, here comes the housekeeping. If you're a returning subscriber, then thanks very much and welcome back. If you've popped in for the first time and whiskey's your thing, then you've landed on the right channel. You may want to click that subscribe button down below. Just a friendly reminder, guys, it doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. And you're helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 2K. Super. Housekeeping done. Let's do the whiskey. Just going to crack into the nose of this one, guys. Colour-wise, it looks a beautiful, real dark copper colour. Um, as regards with this teapot dram... I see this is unchill filtered and it's at cast strength. Uh, it's natural colour from thyme and oak casks alone. I do believe this is from European oak casks, Oloroso sherry. Uh, it's first fill and I think they used 10, 10 casks for this one. Bottle number 3935 of 3993. So I don't think there's many of these left at the distillery, guys. If they're giving them out in number order, then I think we're pretty much... We're into the last 60 bottles, by the looks of it. I see I got these a couple of weeks ago. So I'm not too sure if it's still around. £120, but I'll come back to that. Uh, it's bottled at 59.9% ABV and it's cast strength. So, let's go on to the nose of this one. Wow. Okay, the 59.9 lets you know that it's there. It's a little bit nippy on the nose, but there's a big, big sherry influence straight away. As I say, it's, you know it's sherry, it's Glen Goyne. If you don't know Glen Goyne, then it's, everything's sherry much, pretty much. Big fig note, big raisin note, dry, that dry fruit straight up front. But... It almost smells as if it's going to be thick and syrupy and creamy. It's almost like when you when you open up a jar of marmalade or a jar of jam. It's got that kind of jammy, marmalade sticky almost note. And then it's, it's a beautiful toffee, vanilla and really, really nice caramel note. It's very sweet on the nose. And it's, if you combine that caramel and the toffee and the stickiness and the jam, it's almost like a sticky toffee pudding in a glass. Then you've got those beautiful red berries, maybe some red apples, even, even a touch of cherry in this. Real nice. And then the spices kick in, that clove, cinnamon. There's lots going on in this, guys. It's a real nice, wonderful nose. But then it takes a turn. You can throw another layer now. It becomes very oaky, very woody. 
In fact, it's like old wood. It's like when you go into maybe a town hall and it's like an old, an old chamber where it's got that really nice old history of the wood. It is an old building. It's old wood. That kind of it's like a, maybe an old woody oak floor. Wonderful, and it's it's got. It's, in fact, it's. I'm not too sure of the age of this. I can't seem to find anywhere it tells me an age of it. But I'm surprised I'm getting so much wood. Wow, real, real nice. And then it becomes fruity, orange, maybe even banana. I think in the batch six with this one, I actually got pineapple, but and I think this one it's a wee bit more banana in this. And it's a real nice nutty note. I think it may be an almond. Or maybe a roasted chestnut or something. It's real, real nice nutty note. But on the nose, it's it's lovely and it's this lovely, lovely sweet nose. Wow. So all it does is it sets you up beautifully for having a sip. That's exactly what I'm going to do now, guys. So slanch. On that initial sip, it's hot, it's powerful, it is syrupy, it's thick, it's rich, so much flavour, even on that initial first sip, lots and lots of flavour, it's chewy, it's a nice chewy whiskey, but on that initial first sip, it's it's different for the nose. The nose is a bit sweeter. You expect that sweetness when you got to take a sip, but it's not as sweet on the palate. It's much more dry and it's much more tannic. The wood is playing a big, big influence on this now. It's much more woody on the palate. It's woody and it's spicy. It's lots of spice, lots of baking spices, picking up some clove, some cinnamon, the usual ones are there. Not only that, is it's it's that dryness. You've got the nice, beautiful tobacco and cigar, but it's not smoke. It's more the tobacco leaf and cigar leaf, and that wood. It's like a room full of old wooden boxes. Let me try some more. See if I pick up anything else. Wow, it's nice. Okay, folks, on that second sip, it is spicy, spices. The dryness, but it's got a little bit of menthol and a little bit of minty. It's delicious. Wow. The difference with this is it's much more woodier on the palate than it is on the nose. It's much more fruity and sweetness on the nose, but it's it's dry, syrupy, thick, herbal, touch of herbal. But it's spicy. Wow. But as you get through it, as it develops, heading into the development, as it's developed through, I'm picking up some dark chocolate. And that dark chocolate mixed with that minty note, it's almost like an after eight mint. Real, real nice. Nice dark chocolate note. Minty. Those red berries are now coming back in. Red berries. Red apple. Wow. Beautiful. Hot throughout. See, it's cast strength. So if you're a cast strength lover, then I'm sure you'll love this. If you're a Glen Goyne fanboy, then I'm sure you'll love it. If you like your Sherry Bombs, your Glen Dronox, those kind of Edredeur, Sherry cast strengths, then I'm sure you'll, you'll, you'll love this. I'm loving it. Um, let's do a bit on the finish and then I'll conclude. Real, real nice. It's beautifully balanced. It's coming through in layers. The wood, the spice, a little bit of fruitness heading towards the finish. Dry. Maybe a touch of leather now as well. It's got lots going on. Seems older than the others. I think the batch six, I think, was eight, nine years old. I think 
If I was to hazard a guess at this guy's, I'd probably say this is somewhere between 10 and 15 years old. I'll come back to that towards the end. Um, let's do the finish and then I'll conclude. Okay, finish. It's long. Long, long finish. Wonderful. Still hot, powerful. Spicy. That real nice spicy is not there, the cinnamon, the clove. But the dried fruits are still there towards the end. The fig, the raisin. And it's nutty. Um, but all in all, what a dram. Score-wise, what would I score it? I would score this one. A 92 out of 100 for the teapot dram bats. Seven. Uh... On conclusion, guys, would I pay? The, the issue with this one is the money. I think the biggest talking point about this whiskey was not how difficult it was to get a hold of, but it's the money. It's jumped up from last year's back six from £90 a bottle to £120 a bottle. So it's a £30 increase on a non-age statement whiskey. Granted, it's first fill with Oloroso. European casks, great, fantastic for Len Goyne. Is it worth £120? If you're a Glen Goyne fanboy, then you'll pay £120 for it. Just because if you collect the, the batches, then you'll pay £120. If you're just buying it to drink it and share it, some will pay £120 and some will not pay £120. Just to give you a little bit of comparison, Everyone knows, if you've watched the channel before, then you'll know this one is Kilcairn and 8. All the rows of sherry casks, 8 year old age statement, cast strength, so everything's similarly going on with them. This is granted 57.1, this is 59.9, so it's a little bit higher ABV on the, the Glen Goyne. Uh, I've got an 8 year old age statement, I do believe this may be a little bit older than that though But this is £50 a bottle £50 £120 Is there a £70 difference? In a nutshell I could probably buy two and a half bottles of these Against one of these So in that respect Although this is fantastic and I'm glad that I've bought it and I'm glad that I've paid for it. If batch 8 next year increases again, then I'd really, really serious. I seriously considered this time whether I was going to buy the batch 7. Um, I got a wee bit of pressure from Jerry Kersey asking me to get him a hold of one. So when I was getting a hold of Jerry's, I thought well, I may as well buy two. So I bought myself one. Mr Malcolm Douglas sent me a couple of samples of it. So I've had, I've been pondering for a couple of months with it and then I was decided, yeah, I'll buy it. I'm a Glen Goyne fan. Um, so I went out and I've paid my money and I've bought my bottle. But all day long, this Kilcarran is the one that I'd rather buy a couple of these than one of these. So in a nutshell, I hope that helps you. In that, give it out as a, a kind of a price comparison. So I can't understand why Kilcarran can knock this out at fifty pounds, and Glen Goyne are charging a hundred and twenty pounds. If anyone knows the difference, please pop it in the comments down below. So I'm passing over to you guys. I say it's a ninety-two out of a hundred. Great whiskey, wonderful flavors, great palate, great nose, great finish. It's got all the things you would want in a whiskey. The only disappointing thing. If this was £90 again like it was last year, then this would probably have been a 94 out of 100. I've knocked a couple of points off purely because of the, the price point of it. The whiskey's fantastic. This is fantastic. £50. All day long. That's, that's the plan. So, over to you guys, drop me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. YouTube love it. It helps the channel, it helps the video get noticed. So that's me, I'm Alan. Until the next time guys, 
take care and please remember to keep yourself safe. Don't know how much the lockdown the lockdown's gonna last much longer. Stay safe, keep your family safe, and the last thing to say is the pleasure is in the drinking, and I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks very much, guys. Bye bye.